Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? <laughs> That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Yeah, he, can say that uh, twice. he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You know, so far, everybody seems pretty cool. Kenny, his wife, Duck, you know. Everybody seems all right, so let's see, you know. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, you're hoping for too much, Katya. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, anybody's good at first grade. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Yeah, you know, I don't blame Kenny for not picking up anybody, any random strangers, because it's hard to trust people. You, you know? having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. You know, somebody could stab you in the back. A bunch of things could happen if you just let any random person come help you or you help them on the side of the road. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. But it gets the job done. Hey, the hey, he's talking about over here. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. 
I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's good. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Yeah, do whatever, you need Dan. Any help? I wanna help you anyway. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. Yeah, you know, maybe one day have kids, you know. Not right now. Now with all this crap going on. Just go one cylinder around for a little bit and see. What's on this farm? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. I like his farm. Herschel's farm is pretty nice. Sean's still working on that fence. And it's out in the open, so you know it's not it's not really gonna be any walkers coming over here really unless you draw them with noise. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. This how hard could it be to saw some wood? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I got a bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I think I'd kill Thanks, anybody, Sean. man, woman, Thanks children. Again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. There's a zombie, and it was a man, child, woman, it doesn't matter. I take him off there trying to get me, or my friends, or my family. Doesn't matter if you mess with me. Let's see if Herschel needs some help over How'd here. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? 
Uh, you know, just around. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. I think back like I'm a child molester or something. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! What's going on? <laughs> Somebody's getting attacked by a walker. <laughs> God damn it, who let duck drop the damn chopper, man? Ah! Hit the dumbest kid right the tractor. Uh, I gotta save duck though, I gotta save the kid. I didn't even think twice about it. I got you, duck. I got you! We're almost through! Now, Sean! Come on, Kenny, Kenny, no, Kenny! Oh, 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 I, I couldn't save both of them, man. I had to pick one, so I had to pick Duck. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Hey, man, relax. Chill, I'm Herschel. Sorry. sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I mean, like, what do you want me to do? I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Man, my bad Herschel. Relax, dude. I mean, I know your son's dead and all, but... Can't save everybody. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. That's why this is Zon's fault, man. I should have put more wood or more more metal, sheets of metal up on that fence. Can't just be putting little pieces of 2 by 4 on there. It's not going to hold anything. Man, this city is deserted. In reality, I think it'd be better to get out of the city instead of going in the city, you know what I mean? Because there's too many people in the city, which well, means more walkers. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> you just effed up, Kenny. We're trapped! Ah! <laughs> 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 you got lucky again, Duck. Run! Yeah, 
too many walkers to fight off. They're off running. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Man, who they hurt? They Queen right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. <laughs> God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Yeah, I said it, Lily, you're an Holy asshole. And your daddy. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? I hate this guy already, Dad, man. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. We kick Beat his, his ass. ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about <laughs> Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then... There'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it because that boy is bit. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh. Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> God damn, King! I knocked out. <laughs> Oh, heck no, they're gonna be coming to me. Come on, who did this? Oh, coming down my way. Oh. Come on, Lee, get up. You gotta go help her, man. Get up. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh. Uh, get off us. You okay? Just no thanks. Uh, guys? It's not too bad on the eyes, you know. Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow. They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Get the kid.
I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yeah, you're not the boss no more, Lily. How do you like that? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this. Too much went conflict down. just because of Lily and her dad. And again, he's to Simple calm down. Papers a week old. Feels like years. That blood pressure too high. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. No wonder why it's not working no batteries, girl. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Woman. You're a pretty anything. good chef. <laughs> well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of assholes nowadays. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, so I'm just gonna yep. talk to everybody just like how I talk to Carly right now and get to know all the other characters in here and, you know, check out this pharmacy. Find her batteries while we're at it, too. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Yeah, no thanks. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Let's look around here first and then... No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know. Um. 
Obviously, all the people here are blind. I don't remember them very well. Because they couldn't see that deck was not big. I mean, need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I mean, yeah, he has zombie guts and blood over him, but how hard is it to see that he's not bleeding or bitten himself? Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? You know, I'm just gonna be honest with them and say they own this place. No reason to lie to Kenny. They, uh, I actually like own them. This place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Sure, man. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? I mean, technically it's on your hands, but... It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Trying to let it go. I blame that guy's death on me. I saved your son. You could have went to go save him, man. But that's what it is, you know. Help duck. Can't save both of them. Can't save everybody. It is what it is. Somebody's bound to be hungry. Sure, not giving them to Lily or her dad. F them. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. You like that? Find some food. This is radio. Let's see if we can talk to Lily and her dad. Yes, then I might offer the radio. Food. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? 
Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. First of all, let's... Is there anything? <clears throat> Power on. Nothing. Be good. Oh, the batteries are the wrong way a bit. Now we should be good for sure. Check the batteries on. Batteries in the wrong way. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, Try to get some uh, rest. My, my producers tell it's me we have to get here. Steve. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet. God bless you all. Let me see if um, Carly wants one. Maybe Here, bar. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. How's Dick. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. Get up on my face then, both of you. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Well, I mean, like, Where's he's the mom? reason everything's screwed here. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah, I'm right she is. And protect her. Especially from people like you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him now. The, the, the older couple, they, they were my parents. Yeah, 
gotta go in there, Lee, man. You know if they're dead, you gotta go in there. Tough, but you gotta do it. From Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. okay let me examine this stuff first. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There's a photo over there. Of his family. Find anything? Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Not wrong. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. The only detriment to this, to this little group we got here is Lily and her dad. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Carly's cool. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Pallet out the way. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. This cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, 
It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I gotta be honest with her. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Go get you a band-aid. Your you poop will be all better. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? That's what I figured. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. He was a normal guy. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. 